Hello, this is step 6. We will be making the snail and attaching it to the head. The side with the texture more visible is the outer surface. Place the outer surfaces facing each other. Line them up together neatly. Use pins and fix them together. Use an erasable fabric marker and draw a sewing line O, 5 cm away from the edge. Make sure you draw the cornered area exactly how it is shaped. This is important. On the top part of the snail, make a mark for the opening hole about 3 cm long. Do not sew on this area. We will be flipping the fabric inside out through the opening and putting in fiber fill before closing it. Prepare threaded needle with a knot at the end. Insert the needle through the mark for the opening and start back stitching. Once you are finished sewing up to the opening, make few knots on the back. Pick one or two fibers of the fabric where the thread is coming out and make a knot. Make few more knots. Coot the thread. Next, we are going to clip the corner between the ice. Make a cut and leave 2 cm of the fabric and cut. We do not want to cut too close to the stitches and accidentally cut it. Please cut very carefully and slowly. The reason for this is because when you flip the fabric inside out, the corner will not clump up and will look prettier. Flip the fabric inside out through the opening. Use a needle to shape the snail. Do this gently. Now, let's put some fiber fill into the snail. Break up the fiber fill into smaller pieces before putting them in. This helps make it easier to fill the ends. Start filling the furthest areas first. If you are having trouble filling the eye area, use something to push it in.
Do not put too much in. It might not look as pretty if you do. When you are done, we are going to close the opening. Prepare threaded needle with the loop at the end. Do not start right at the opening. Go up about oh, 5 cm and start there. Insert oh, 5 cm away and pull the needle through the loop at the end of the thread. This is the easy way to start stitching without making a knot method. Start slip stitching. When you get to the opening, fold the opening alt 5 cm inwards as you slip stitch At the end, do the same thing as earlier. Do not stop right at the end. Stitch out 5 cm more from the opening. Now pick one or two fibers of the fabric where the thread is coming out and make a knot. Do it one more time. Insert the needle between the fabrics and pull it out away from the knots. Gently pull on the thread and cut it. The thread will disappear inside the snail. The body of the snail is complete. Let's work in the shell. Do the same thing as the snail's body. Put the sides with the texture more visible together. Use pins and fix them together. The outer surfaces will be facing each other. Use an erasable fabric marker and draw a sewing line O, 5 cm away from the edge. Make sure to leave some space for the opening hole. Start from the mark for the opening hole and apply back stitches. Once you get to the opening, secure the stitches by making few knots on the back. Cool the thread. Now flip the shell inside out through the opening. Grab some fiber fill to use for the shell. Break up the fiber fill into smaller pieces first and put it in. Make sure the seam allowance inside is going in one direction when putting it in. It will look prettier if you do this. Before you finish putting in the fiber fill, get the sheet of vinyl. You can put the whole sheet in or cut it to any size you want. Crumble the vinyl. Then, put it into the shell. Now finish putting in the fiber fill.
Okay, let's close the opening. Use an erasable fabric marker and draw a sewing line O, 5 cm from the edge. Prepare threaded needle with a loop at the end. From the opening, go about 5 cm away and start sewing there using slip stitches. Pick one or two fibers and pull the needle through the loop. Apply slip stitches. Fold the opening inwards to the sewing line as you sew. When you get to the end, sew 5 cm more from the opening. Secure the stitches with a knot. Pick one or two fibers where the thread is coming out and make a knot. Do it one more time. Insert the needle between the fabrics and pull it out away from the knots. Gently pull on the thread and cut it. Feel the shell and see which side has more fiber fill than vinyl. You want to use the side with more fiber fill because it will be easier to sew on. Draw the swirl on the shell. Please look at the paper instructions for an example. Prepare threaded needle with a loop at the end. Use brown thread. Pick one or two fibers at the start and pull the needle through the loop. Apply back stitches. Try not to sew on the vinyl that is inside, and only sew on the fabric if possible. When you are done, secure the stitches with few knots. Pick one or two fibers where the thread is coming out and make a knot. Do it one more time. Insert the needle next to the knots and pull it out. Gently pull on the thread and cut it. The shell is complete. Let's attach the shell to the snail. Put the shell on the snail, and mark the ends of where the shell touches. If you attach too much of the snail's body to the shell, it will look unnatural and not as pretty. Make the marks a little bit darker. Mark on the shell as well. We will be using slip stitching. Prepare threaded needle with a loop at the end. Pick one or two fibers on the snail's body and pull it through the loop. First, make a slip stitch on the shell. Then, slip stitch on the body. and back to the shell. Keep repeating this to the end. Once you get to the end, gently pull on the thread. 
Do not pull on it too much. Pull on it enough for the snail and the shell to come together completely. Secure the stitches by making few knots where the thread is coming out. Insert the needle next to the knots and pull it out. Pull on the thread and cut it. We have completed the snail. For the last part, we will be attaching the snail to the head. From the stitches of the head, go about 2 centimeters away and draw a mark. You can put the snail anywhere you want. Once you have decided, draw a 3 cm long sewing line on that area. Put the snail on the sewing line, and mark the ends of the 3 cm sewing line on the body. Use the same method we used to attach the shell to the snail with slip stitching. Pick one or two fibers of the head and pull the needle through the loop at the end. Slip stitch on the snail's body. Then, slip stitch the head. Keep doing this until you are done. When you are done, gently pull on the thread and make the snail attach to the head completely. Secure the stitches by making few knots where the thread is coming out. Insert the needle into the snail and pull it out away from the knots. Pull on the thread gently and cut it. The front side is complete. We will need to attach the snail from the back. If you push down the snail gently, the shell will touch the head. You want to sew the area of the shell that touches the head together. Mark the area where the shell and the head touches. Make the sewing line about 1.5 cm long. Mark the ends of the 1.5 cm on the shell. Use slip stitching for this part as well. Prepare the thread with the loop at the end, and start on the head. Slip stitch the shell, and then the head. Once you are done, pull on the thread gently, and secure the stitches with few knots where the thread is coming out. Insert the needle into the head. Pull it out and cut it. Congratulations! You have finished the Caterpillar doll.